the rubber washers that I got. They're for, uh, I believe they're for toilets or something. It's time for some bass smashing action. Hey everybody, wanted to do another quick update on the boat. We got our bolts installed on the transom here. And we got the supports hooked back up. Now like I said, this is a three quarter inch piece of plywood instead of an inch, so we have a slight gap here. So what we're gonna do up here at the top, these bolts go through this and through the wood, and we have this gap under here. I don't wanna squeeze this aluminum down and bend it. So I'm gonna put two or three washers up underneath here so I can still tighten this, but it's gonna keep that gap. Down here I put a quarter inch piece of plywood spacer with, uh, I just sprayed it with uh, that Blue Magic rubber stuff so that these tighten down back into the place that they were before. We got these guys through the same holes coming out the back. I'll show you that in one second. And then, so today what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little, another uh, quarter inch plywood spacer up here. And there's a, a plate for the clamp that we're gonna reuse. And then on the back, I have to cut out, there was another piece of wood that had rotted off that was here so that the clamps aren't just straight on the, um, the metal of the boat. So what you can see down here, these are the carriage bolts that were pulled in to uh, the supports in the bottom. And they each have one of those little rubber washers out of that plumbing kit that I grabbed. So these, I'm not worried about, these are gonna be watertight. These over here, these are rubber washers that I got. They're for, uh, I believe they're for toilets or something. It's like bowl to tank bolt washer. Um, the only thing that worries me, and we're going to test this today with the hose, is if water can get in through this thread, in, in between the thread and the bolt there. So I can always cake this up with silicone or back this off and load it up and then screw it back down. But we're going to see if it's, if it's watertight as it is now. These guys, we're going we're gonna to probably pop some silicone in. This is that top bolt that I was talking about um, that's coming through that i got to put the the washers in and then these handles um, these are carriage bolts too these are really tight and there's a slight gap Let's see if you can see that there's a slight gap there there's actually a rubber washer on the bolt like this in between the aluminum of the back and this handle itself and everything is is snug down so we got a couple more pieces to add all the rivets on the inside are in place and then we're gonna take it in the yard and we're gonna put the hose in it and see if it's watertight. If it is, then we're gonna spray the inside once it dries off. We're gonna paint our trim and stuff around the top and we're gonna start working on the casting deck here in the next day or so. That's it. We'll see you in the next one. You can say, bass smash in action. Bass smash in action. It's a giant. I actually did see a three pounder over here swimming around. Did you? Yeah, so they've moved. They're actually back over where we've seen them in the past. Five cameras going at once here. Good food.